what's up everybody? In today's video, we are going to talk about this Axis point from Netgear. This is WAX610. We are going to do a quick unboxing, talk about the technical specifications, and of course, how we can use this one. This video is sponsored by Netgear. They sent this product to us so that we can do a product review. Now it's time to see what's inside the box. Ta-da! This should be read me later because if you're unboxing, you're excited with the item. Let's start here at the back. This port here is where you plug in the power and the second one is your PoE Ethernet. And the third one is a reset button in case you want to wipe your configuration. The back portion is kind of metal-ish. I think this is designed to kind of absorb the heat from this device if it heats up. So quick look here, looks very nice. You have a um, indicators here that gives you information of what's happening with the device. Then you have the installation guide, mounting accessories for wall and ceiling. This is a dual band Wi-Fi 6 AX1800 access point. The five gigahertz band is rated at 1.2 gigabits per second while the 2.4 GHz band is rated at 600 megabits per second. Each band is capable of two streams, giving you a total of four streams on this device. It also supports Wi-Fi mesh networking. The Ethernet port is rated at 2.5 gigabits per second. <laughs> and of course, it supports power over Ethernet. One thing you need to take note here guys is that this package didn't come with a PoE injector or a power adapter. Well lucky for me, for us, so that we can try this device, I have a PoE switch that I haven't been using for a while. So let's go ahead and power up the Netgear access point. Well, power up the switch. Then we need to plug the cable going to the access point now you will start to notice the light here that will start to blink that would be the power indicator then we need to plug this one to our router where our internet is connected to let's get a closer look so that i can see the power indicator this is connected to local area network the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz is up and running but no one is connected yet Okay, take note of the QR code at the back because we are going to use that one to connect to this device. So we followed the diagram in the manual that came with this package. We have your access point, the PoE switch, we have the router that is connected to the internet. And second thing, you need to download the app inside Netgear. So this is what I told you before, read me later. So if you have done that one already, you should have been able to install the Netgear app just open that one and let's start the configuration so first up guys click that plus sign on the upper right corner for us to add a device so i'll just do that one again so that you can see click the plus sign and then it's asking you to scan a barcode or a qr code which is located at the back of this device so i'm just going to scan that there you go scan Okay, so it's going to ask us to set up a new network location. So I'll just name this one as home office. So something that is the location of this access point, the coverage of it. Okay, so I'll just put in home office. Okay, and then I'll type in a password that would be a device password. So if you're going to access this one, you're going to use that one. So I'm going to go next. This will take a couple of seconds, well, several seconds, then it's going to read through the device. All right, so we have the default device name. So we're going to change this one so that it's easier for us to identify what device this one, if we have several devices that will be connected later on. So I'll just put in H-O-A-P, maybe that's home office access point. And I'll just go ahead and 
go for next. Okay, it's time to set up the SSID for uh, this device. So I'll just type in Torogi Pro. Oopsie, that should be Torogi Pro. Then, of course, the password. I'll just make it simple again. Query one two three four. Don't worry, guys. You can change this one if you want to. Okay, go for next and. No thanks. I'll just go ahead and check my connection that's hidden network. We just created Torogi Pro. So I'll go ahead and view my devices. I should see this device. There you go. That is the WAX610 that we just added. So we're just going to wait for a moment here because the app is transferring those configuration files to the access point and yeah this is one of the features of this netgear because once you have added your netgear devices into your app then you can have remote control with these devices so that is connected already let's go ahead and change my network into the network that we have created and it should be popping up right now there you go torogi pro so I'm going to jump into that. That's where I'm going to connect to. And connecting. All right, connected. Then, there you go. You can see the five gigahertz blinking. It means to say that we are connected there. That's color blue. So if the 2.4 gigahertz is blinking as well, somebody's connected to that signal or band. So, Let's go back to my app. The, you can see that we are disconnected because we jump in from another SSID to another SSID. So I need to retry that so that we are going to reconnect to the access point. Now, here's an overview of that access point and we can configure more about this. Key features we are going to talk about, one of it is the SSID. You can create up to eight SSID. Why? Because you need to separate the logins of your guests. You can create another SSID for your CCTV cameras and IoT devices. A lot of things nowadays are becoming wireless and you need to separate all of these. So for my example right now, I'm just going to create TP guest that means Storage Pro guest. This also features enhanced security because it has the highest level of security which is WPA3 as of the recording of this video. And in addition to this, you can create VLANs that can match up to the SSID that you are going to create later on. So this is another security level that you can do. So we're not going to create VLANs right now but if you are looking for a feature, then this is capable with that. Another one you can see here is Captive Portal. One of the things I really like to do with um, manage Wi-Fi devices and this has that feature as well. So let's go ahead and do some quick sample configuration so that we can save our settings. Okay, go ahead and save that and oh, successful. So, as you can see on the dashboard on our phone, we have the SSID active. There are still other features that you can go through this device, but that's what we can talk about right now. And if you will have one of these, you're watching this one, drop a comment below. What do you think about this Netgear access point? Well, if you have learned something from this video, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and see you in my next video. Goodbye.